Hello, Mr. Mayer. Um, thank you very much for having us today to talk to you about um, the subject of uh, freedom of conscience. Um, yeah, freedom of conscience is a broad term and includes uh, freedom of um, speech, uh, religious freedom, um, personal freedoms, yes, and so on. And it's a, it's a fundamental part of the human rights mm -hmm. and uh, concerns everyone in a certain way. So it should also concern uh, the local politics. And in, in, in what extent uh, it would interest us, uh, do the issues of freedom of conscience and human rights uh, play a role in local politics uh, for you? And um, yes, is freedom of conscience a topic for uh, the city here in Erlangen? Mm -hmm. um, Yes, I think it is because it's, um, in my opinion, it's, it's uh, necessary. On the one hand, it's very important that we have this big power of human rights, yes, and the, the discussion about um, the development of human rights um, on international level. But it's our job to make these rights concrete and to discuss with the people in the city what does it mean, freedom of consciousness? What does, what does it mean, freedom of speech? What does it mean to you? And what do we have to do look here on local level um, to improve the situation, to face certain problems, to, to discuss it? So yes, it plays a role. Um, I think otherwise it would be very, um, um, very hard to, to, um, to get in touch with the people. So it's necessary to have both the discussion of the, uh, on the international level and the concrete work here in the city. Mm -hmm. And um, you said certain issues or certain... Mm -hmm. um, do you have um, specific anecdotes or examples of your work here in, in Erlangen uh, <laughs> regarding the freedom of conscience? Yes, a, a lot. Um, m maybe um, a few weeks ago there was the Comic Salon 2018 and two years before the Comic Salon two, 2016 there we had um, um, a big discussion and not only discussion, also, also a lot of exhibitions about the, uh, the topic of freedom of speech in comics. Yeah, you know the, the debate about um, 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 the, Mo, uh, the, uh, the comics about Mohammed um, um, and, uh, and especially in, in, um, in, in France on the discussion about what is allowed in, um, in comics, what's not allowed, what should be allowed, where are um, the, the borders between what is correct non-correct, allowed, not allowed. So we face these kind of, uh, these kind of topics in um, um, the work of the city, uh, not only the city council, but also the city administration. And that's only one example. We have a lot of conferences in, uh, in Erlangen. Every uh, second year there's a conference about integration and there we also face the uh, problem uh, and the, the um, discussion about how um, um, freedom of speech is necessary in in in, in the local com in the local community, and um, maybe one uh, very important um, part uh, important point at the moment is the freedom of religion and the discussion about the freedom of re uh, religion and. Um, for, for me and for the city administration, we, uh, uh, we really try to, to point out and to show how important it is that this freedom right is guaranteed for every, uh, for every person who lives here in the city, regardless if they are from, uh, if they are uh, a Catholic, a Protestant or a Muslim. And it's the same right for all of them. And we try to bring them together and to discuss about it. And, and um, a lot of people, Helps us with uh, with this um, um, uh, to to build up this discussion. Yes, relig uh, religious freedom is, is really an interesting topic also in our project because we work together with France, for example, mm -hmm. where um, the definition of uh, of um, of the role of religion is really different from yeah. from Germany. <laughs> so religion and, and the public sphere are, are very separated and in France clearly uh, separated. In Germany it's, it's not so, um, so hard, so strict, mm -hmm. even if it, of course it's separated. 
Um, and and a, a few uh, weeks ago, we had um, we had also this um, new um, law about the the cross in, in public buildings um, mm -hmm. in Bavaria. And um, I don't know if, 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 for example, also for the city administration, it was a, a discussion if it concerns their religious freedom of of everyone who who works here, mm -hmm. or maybe even of the persons who live in the city, because. The city hall is a, is a place where everyone has to go sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, was that a discussion also in, in the city or do you have to accept it? Uh, no, it was for us it's not, um, it's not important because we are, um, um, uh, we are not concerned by this. It, it's not a law. It's, uh, I think it's, a, it's a just a kind of order from the Bavarian um, head, of, uh, head of state. He's allowed to order this, but just for his buildings. So just for um, 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 buildings from the federal state of Bavaria, we are we we um, so so it's it, it does not affect us. And um, to be to be honest, I don't think it's a very important debate. It, it, it's yeah, I I don't know where in um, in buildings of the city of Erlangen um, there are crosses or not, and I think it's not important. Yeah, it's really there are. Of course, there are rooms where there are crosses, and if it's so, it's okay. And there are rooms where there are none here. Nothing, <laughs> and I don't think in the entry hall there's also not a, not a cross. And it's not it's not important. The the problem I I, I see here is that religious um, symbols are used in politics to show other people that they belong do not belong to the society here and that's the that's the issue where it's, it's all about and so i'm really glad that i don't have to uh, <laughs> overcross um, <laughs> buildings of the city of Allingen. yes um and, and and would you would you say that it's easier to talk about um, um freedom of conscience um on the local level when no, I think it's not easy. It's different, because mm -hmm. because it's very concrete. Mm -hmm. You you don't talk about um, um, uh, ab about the thing in general. It's also important to discuss about it. But then you really have to, to face the concrete situation in the um, in, in the city. For example, at the moment there's a discussion in uh, the city of, um, of Erlangen about um, our um, our. Um, um, Public, public swimming pools because we have in, in one of our swimming pools we have um, special time just for women and of course a lot of not only but a lot of Muslim women are using the, the, this special times at the moment and it's fine it works really good there are um, um, 80 to 100 persons and it's one, uh, once a week and at the moment we have a discussion from the um, uh, right side, uh, political right, uh, political right. So we don't need this kind of special and it's discrimination against men. Um, and so in this focus, you can see it's not in, in Erlangen, it's, it's concrete. You can discuss about these issues concrete, but on the other hand, you have, can also discuss with the women concrete and you can see them and then, and they can talk, talk to you and tell you why it is important for them to have this special um, this special time and what and how it affects their lives and how it changed uh, their lives. So it's um, not easier, but it's um, not as easy as um, 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 as if the d debate is on an, a high level. It often could, um, does not affect the people directly. And, and, and if you discuss it on the local level, you have people, you have the faces of mm -hmm. the people, and you have to talk to them and not about them. It's not as theoretical. It's you know, concrete. It's, it's concrete. Yeah. Right. And um, the city of Erlangen also has uh, many um, partnerships with uh, cities uh, in the world. Um, for example, also um, in Russia, in, with Vladimir, and um, just at the moment we have the, the football World Cup there, and there were also discussions if uh, if uh, po the political leaders of, of European countries should go there or not. Um, so we realized that it's really difficult, and there are tensions between between both. Is it uh, easier for you uh, on the local level to have such contact with uh, with Russia, for example, and um, and to, to talk and have uh, yes, to have uh, relations? Um, then on the national uh, level, or um, don't 
that's maybe this this kind of of topics the the, the human rights topic uh, not affect so much the, the local level for such international um, relationships than it affects the the the, the political leaders of yeah. the of the states oh <laughs> I think that's not one, the uh, one answer. So at the moment we have um, two other examples. Um, our partnership uh, in um, Nicaragua, in San Carlos at the moment, and it's really hard to get information. And I think the political situation there will affect, and it still affects our partnership. So it's um, it's uh, um, harder to get there, and maybe we we don't can uh, we we will not be able to send people there anymore because it's dangerous. And it's the same at the moment um, um, with our partnership in, in, in Turkey, Besiktas. So at the moment we hardly find people who, who want to travel there and um, um, a lot of our partners um, are, not, are not allowed to travel here or, or they don't want to talk about the situation in their, uh, in their country because they, they, are, they are afraid. So it definitely affects the work we do um, in in, um, in the twin, but um, the, the example of Russia really is different, because um, there are very very long relations, and we and, and a lot of people here really have friends in in, in Vladimir and in Russia, and it's also a kind of um, friendship relationship be between um, the mayor uh, the mayor there and um, the other parts of the administration. So at the moment we started uh, one and a half year um, ago um, a, a kind of political debate club between Russia and, and Vladimir and Erlangen and we there talk about uh, political uh, uh, political issues and that's really really interesting when you see the different views in the different countries on political topics like um, we talked about the refugee crisis in Europe and how um, it affects also Russia and Russian people and Russian people living in Germany and, uh, and the other way around. So yes, it affects it, of course, but there are also possibilities um, to, um, uh, to work even if the political climate is, um, uh, is, uh, is getting tougher. And um, just a few days ago, you um, you had a new partnership with uh, the city of Bolzano in Italy, and uh, so I, I read a little bit about it. And um, the, the story behind this uh, partnership is uh, the story of a man from Bolzano who refused in the 1940s, I think, on, uh, um, to um, to swear the, the oath uh, on the SS. And uh, then he was sentenced uh, to death, and on the uh, transportation to the concentration camp, he died in Erlangen. So that's the link. That's the link yes. So you can say that this man died for his freedom of conscience because he refused to to swear um, this oath. So could could we see that uh, partnership as a kind of um, of partnership for the uh, freedom of conscience? Um, because it's the uh, idea behind, or <laughs> is it uh, too much? Or <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I don't know if it's too much, or, but I think yes, it's um, the, this partnership grows out of this uh, this really tragic story, and uh, I think we we now have the responsibility to also keep this story in mind. And um, let, I, I traveled to Bolzano last week, and we. Um, we signed the um, uh, we, we we signed the contract to work together now, and we signed the the, the twinning, and um, we decided to to cause of this history to build up a partnership um, and to bring people in Europe together, and and so in in this case, yes, it has to do with human rights and with the story of how we can take a small part in guaranteeing human rights all over Europe. Mm -hmm. And um, yes, maybe to, to end um, the interview, uh, would you think with all these projects, you already mentioned the integration conference and um, maybe other mm -hmm. uh, uh, projects, um, yes, is, is Erlangen um, a special um, example for um, uh, I, I think I'm not the right one to judge about the, the politics of uh, of Alan. And no, I don't think it's it's um, special. We try, uh, we uh, I think the the the, um, 
the thing is, it's never over to fight for human rights. Mm -hmm. And so it's our, um, it, it, it's our task to show what are in the, at the moment on local, on local level the main topics in human rights and what can we do to face the discussion and to make it concrete on the local level. Okay. Okay. Thank so, you very so, much. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>